so today I'm at home doing some work, right? And I have a Dymo 4XL thermal printer label, label printer. I can't get it right. Anywho, so I wasted a whole lot of paper. And the only thing that I was messing up on was making sure I chose the correct printer size, paper size. Anywho, so today's video, I'm going to show y'all the things that I had to go through. And I don't want y'all to waste paper like I did. So y'all enjoy the video to make sure you set up your printer right, you choose the right selections, and you will be on your way with sending off your shipments. So first things first, just in case you do not already have Dymo installed to your laptop or desktop, you go to Dymo.com, you scroll down to downloads, and you want to make sure you install whatever printer you have to your device. So that way you can start printing and select that as one of your printers. That's what you want to do first. So today I am going to talk about my trial and error with my new label printer, my Dymo Label Writer 4XL. So I went on here, I have a Shopify store with my Lease Boutique and I went on here to test run, to print out some test labels, just to see how everything is set up. So as you see, I wasted a lot of paper, right? So I tried to find a YouTube video and I couldn't find anything that described how to get make the paper fit. Well, y'all, it was just something really, really simple. So let me show y'all what I had to do. So I'm in my, if you have Shopify and you want to know how to print your labels, you simply go to your Shopify store, you go to your shipping and delivery. And then if you scroll down, it'll show um, your print test label. So you can do a print test label just to make sure everything prints out properly. So if you have a desktop printer, it has where you can print. It. Okay, I'm back. So like I was saying, if you have a desktop printer, it allows you to print test labels from your desktop. And if you have a thermal printer like I have, you can print out test labels from a thermal. So when I click on here, it says four by six inches. So if you have a computer, desktop, or whatever like mine, and I go to print test labels, so of course, when you get in here, um, it's gonna show you what it will look like, and then you go to your print. So you know when you go to print, it gives you different options that you can choose to make sure you print out everything right. So prior to, as you can see here for paper size, um, I have the four by six, six. So that is what my paper size is. I had to make sure I chose the correct um, printer that I'm printing from. But what I was messing up with in the beginning was, you would think that it's automatically set to whatever you was um, printing out. No, it was not. When I first went on there, it was set to, ad set to address. So that was completely wrong. So then after that, the address was not right. So then I was like, okay, it has to be shipping. So when I went to shipping, this is what was printing out. It still was not right. So it was bigger, but it was not right. So I'm like, okay, what is going on? So lo and behold, I just had to go on here. And then I scrolled down to find the correct paper size. So it, my laptop gives me all these options or whatever my printer options. I'm not for sure if it's like that with everyone. I mean, every laptop or every desktop. So I had to scroll down and I found the four inch by six inch for my printer size, printer paper size. So when I did that, after wasting all of the paper, which is okay, I'll just order some more. Voila, it fits on the printer paper. So that is just some information I want to share because I'm like, oh no, I cannot be the only one that maybe had this issue. But so yes, I have figured it out and I'm ready to roll. Just gotta order some more paper. I still have some left, but I'm gonna order some more because yeah, I'm about to get going. Your girl is gonna have a whole bunch of orders coming through. I'm speaking it into existence. <laughs> Y'all have a good day.